Now we have example 5. Factorize 2x squared minus 32. And it happens that 2x squared is actually not a square number. And so the 32. 32 is not a square number. Therefore, we cannot directly apply the difference of two square method here. Therefore, we have to try some other methods, such as taking out common factor or grouping like terms. And we cannot apply the difference of two square here. Now, at least up to this moment, we cannot do that. But what about uh, taking out common factor? Well, it happens that we have a common factor of two here. Therefore, we can just use this, take the 2 out, and then we have 2 times x squared minus 16. And now we have the form of difference of 2 squared, x squared minus 16. Therefore, we have 2 times x squared minus the square of 4. And this will be our final answer. 2 times x minus 4 times x plus 4. And now we have some kind of strategy in tackling this type of questions. Because we have to apply all the methods we have learned in Form 2 and Form 3. And in fact, the order of using these methods actually depends on the question. And there is no fixed order. And we have to learn from our experience.